Forza 1, we had interest in Bugatti, and in Forza Motorsport 2, we approached Bugatti again. But at that time, Bugatti wasn't really interested in being in video games. But video games today have broadened out, and they're actually part of mass media. So I think that's opened up the door for us to do something with Bugatti. So now they're actually excited to be in video games. They're excited to be in Forza Motorsport. Design identifies the cars that we want to build based on how desirable they are. The Bugatti Veyron's a no-brainer. It's probably the most coveted car in the world right now. The style of the Veyron is uh, very classic, sort of art deco. If you, a uh, beautiful woman of the Roaring Twenties, stepped out of the car, the car and the woman would perfectly complement each other. The Bugatti Veyron, it's, it's a technological masterpiece, not so much in that it made a thousand horsepower, because that's really not that difficult to do with an 8-liter engine, but more in the sense that it's drivable as a thousand horsepower car. An automatic gearbox that can take a 4,400-pound car and 987 horsepower and put it to the ground with all-wheel drive and not blow up. And it's got to do that for 120,000 miles. And it's not even just like the power or anything, it's the scale. This is a thousand horsepower, 16 cylinder, four turbo motor that's smaller than a big block Chevy. And the Veyron itself is five inches shorter than the current market Jetta. It's, it's not even a big car. To, to have such a beautiful design and be able to hit 250 without just frisbeeing off the road, is, it's just incredible. Once we've identified the car that we want, we've located it, we send a, a team of subject matter experts out there to either photograph the car or scan it digitally. This is in some ways the most exciting job on the team because you get to put your hands directly on the metal of cars that most people will never see in person. One of the new features for Forza 3 is cockpits. This presents an interesting challenge from a modeling perspective because it's so hard to get the sense of scale from inside the cockpit and communicate that in game. Laser scanning is an important part of that. It means we get the scale perfectly for the steering wheel, the gauges, even things that you're never going to notice in the game, like the door locks, the buttons on the radio. We have another special pass that we have to do just to uh, make sure that all the gauges are working correctly. We have to calibrate each one to make sure that the car revs up to the, the top RPM that it should, that its top speed is the real one on the car. There is a lot of work done into that. result is a super high definition mesh. For Forza 3, we've completely revamped the graphics engine. We're pushing 10 times as many polygons as we have on any previous version. It manifests itself by what you see in the game. The beautiful lines of curvature, the detail in the lights and the lenses, the detail in the brake rotors and calipers. They're so close to reality, they're almost indistinguishable. What you see in game is what we saw on site as we photographed and scanned the car. And the cool thing is, is not many people in the world have seen this car in person, only in pictures. Some people haven't even seen the interior of this car. And in Forza 3, you're going to be able to customize it, you're going to be able to drive it, you're going to be able to see the interior, you're going to be able to do almost anything and everything with this car that most people will never see in their life. Everybody is psyched about having that car in our game. It is one of the most advanced cars in the world right now. It's something out of I know, out of this world pretty much is it's amazing. Uh -huh.